Welcome to Monthly News 29, and it is warm. So this month we have two video makers in the team, and they are very funny. They really like to make... Welcome to Monthly News number 29. So, apparently Dave is too busy to make these videos. So, yeah, he asked us, hey, Lucia, Philip, do you want to take over the monthly news? And we said, what should we do? And he said, you can go really crazy. So I guess we can do whatever we want. Oh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe not. But this past month, we've been hard at work, grinding, making plans, and battling the heat. But we did also have a really nice concert here in the workspace. We also released two new pilot projects. One where we made a big massive table for Jaden Smith. This guy. I'm just an icon, live it. Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Ooh. And one where we went to the Maldives and set up an ocean plastic research center. Our team member Paul made some really cool research on how to recycle degraded ocean plastic. We're currently in the Maldives and we're going to show people how to recycle plastic in our precious plastic shipping container. <laughs> you can find links to all of this down in the description. Also, this guy contributed on GitHub on our uh, new community platform we're building and that's really, really appreciated. Hey Nico! Nico! Philip's talking to you. What do we need? More coders! We also had a lot of newcomers this month. Hi, my name is Alex. Softa. Sarah. Michael. Rory. Tai. Jimmy. Leon. Lucy. Nicole. Oh yeah. Last week we had a lot of designers here doing the Plastic for Good challenge. And Matthias is going to talk to you more about that right now. All right, Philip, yeah, thank you. As you said, for the past five days, we've been working here on the Plastic for Good Challenge, which is a collaboration between Precious Plastic and Distributed Design Marketplace. And as I said, for the past five really, really, really hot days, we've been working here with 15 designers from all over the world. And we've given them 20 sheets from our new sheet press, as well as 50 beams from our new extrusion machine. And we let them play around and see where they would take plastic recycling. So I'm now going to show you a few projects to see what they came up with. This a good one? Yeah, I think it was good. Fantastic. All right, so we're here with uh, Nicolas from Austria. And you want to tell a bit about yourself and what you've been working on for the past five days? Um, I'm an architect uh, from Vienna. And in Austria, we developed a building system that enables almost all people to make multi-story buildings. And we primarily work with wood and sustainable materials. And now, the last uh, five days, I had the chance to uh, work with uh, plastics that are, like, have been reused and upcycled. And these are tiles for um, uh, building skins. It could be either for a roof, but also for a wall, or for something in between. And we hope it's very stable. I can show you also. It's really like. I think it could, uh, like, it doesn't, in some cases, it doesn't even need a, a substructure, so. I can really envision how, on a bigger scale, it could look incredible and really serve in the longer run, because this is sturdy, right, and strong, so I think it yeah. should really last for many decades. Well, I, I will leave you some plans, so you can continue <laughs> if you want. Fantastic. Thank you very much, then. Yeah, cool. Nice one. All right, so here we are with Emanuele from Italy. Hello. And uh, maybe you want to tell us a bit what you've been working on and yeah, what we have in front of us. Yes, my team and me wanted to work with uh, uh, children toys. So we fell in love with the idea of designing a rocking children toy because it's uh, kind of a classical toy, you know. Particularly like yeah, the combination of wood and plastic and it really, yeah. really looks like a proper finished product. Yes, you can see that this is a natural grain material and this is an artificial one, of course, because it's plastic. But even if it's a recycled material, 
it looks great. And the combination of the two is amazing. And, 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 and was it easy to get to understand the material, get to know how it works? How of it course functions? we had to make a few tries, but once we got the, the process right, it was quite easy to work with. And of course you have to make some fixings and to adjust everything to the material because of course it's not good and it has different properties from other materials and you don't want to, to get toxic fumes even. So, but once you get it, it's really good, cool to work with. Manuel, fantastic work. Yeah. Thanks so well much. Well done. And yeah, here we are with Damien. Yes. From France, I guess. Exactly. Him and his team have been working on uh, joinery options for plastic, and I'm going to let you introduce more what you've been working on in the last week. So we started wondering what like kind of like modular things we could do with uh, plastic, and so we quickly came to the, the question of the, the joints. Uh, we, we started with like quite simple uh, technique to have like a rail, and that could be able to put many different things. Also, uh, during the week, we started like to investigate how we could actually bend um, plastic to have like um, like this kind of like orthogonal junction. And I think this option for me is, uh, is incredible in its simplicity and yeah. and the potentials connected to these are inf infinite in my opinion because it's so simple and really uh, sort of exploits the the, the the potentials of plastic yeah. at its most because yeah. you couldn't do this with wood, you couldn't do this with metal unless you have massive machines. Yeah. So I think this is an amazing bit of knowledge right here and, and technique that can be shared with the world. Fantastic. Perfect. Seems like you guys have been busy for the last five days. Yes. But uh, yeah, super nice. Thank you very really much. Forward. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Damien. All right, that's it for the Plastic for Good Challenge. If you want to know more about the project, check the link below. Uh, now back to Kat for community news. Yo, it's Kat again, and I am happy to present you some more news from the community. We will start with Soren and friends also called Plasticpreneur from Austria. They put some machines on the bazaar which have a wooden and disassemblable frame. So that makes them super lightweight and uh, practical to transport. And they develop these machines together with a pro like professional recycling machine manufacturer. So super good quality stuff. Available on our precious plastic bazaar. KTH alumni are working on a solar thermal injection molder which is literally a very powerful tool to make the machines run on free and clean energy. And um, they also want to share their outcome open source, so we are looking forward to that. And we know that there are more people working on solar upgrades for the machines. So um, yeah, we are very much looking forward to seeing more outcomes for that. Lucy, the offcut queen, is working with acrylic glass offcuts, which are a big waste material of design offices and uh, bigger companies. And she made a cool video on how she got started with that and how she processes the offcuts to valuable materials and cool products. And our team member Thomas also made a very cool video about his project in Panama, where he helped setting up a plastic workspace. And for that project, he also developed a mold for a very cool plate, which is made with the injection machine. You can find those videos and more in our community channel, which we created to share all the videos created from the community. So another cool thing is that we are actually just working on the tool on our websites to make it easier for everyone to document their processes and share them with the community. So if you have anything or see anything which you would like to share or have shared, let us know and get in touch with us and we can explain to you how it's done and help you in that process. Hey there. Next month, uh, we're going to do a Q&A with the people here from the workspace. Uh, so if you have any questions, like whatever you want, feel free to comment down below here on YouTube and we will do our best to answer them. <laughs> you will slow there when the signs, like this, this, the next yeah. one, yeah. <laughs> there you go. See ya. Welcome to monthly news number 29. I smelled. Smelled? Mm. I smiled. Oh, you smiled. I can smell the, the trash over there. <laughs> it smells super good.